What is going on guys, it's Humble Zeus here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 3, but before we get in, I want to welcome any new viewers, if you are new, welcome to the channel, hope you enjoy, and if you are a returning viewer, then welcome back, I also hope you enjoy. Now, without further ado, let's get into the commentary. So, I want to talk about Black Ops 3 because I am in fact getting it, I am in fact going to, I plan to at least, upload it on the channel, maybe stream it every once in a while, if the game is good and if it meets my expectations, and what I'm hoping for Black Ops 3, and what I'm hoping the beta will do is I'm hoping that it will give Treyarch the information they need to make a really well polished game. Obviously they've had more time to make it, this is not like a yearly release, they had a bit of extra time to make their game and craft a really good and solid title. Some that I think the Call of Duty series has been missing, Advanced Warfare looked promising for a little bit and then it kind of nosedived, Ghost was just badly received from the beginning. And really, I think they are missing a really solid title, and I'm hoping that Treyarch will, in fact, give us a good, solid Call of Duty title. Now, what I really want to see is I, I want to see cleanup and balancing. That's mainly the two things that I want to see. They were my two issues with Black Ops 2, is that balancing seemed a bit weird sometimes. Sometimes it seemed like they were on the ball with it, other times it was like, what are you doing? Why are these things being nerfed? What sense does this make? And I'm hoping that they'll take feedback seriously. I'm hoping that they'll look at the beta, they'll see what people were saying. I'm hoping they do one of those like surveys. What did you like? What did you dislike? You know, hear the community out, hear what they have to say, and they fix things. Some of the things that I want to see fixed is C4. I don't want to see C4 thrown across the map and then blown up because I had no time to react to it because people want a Kobe all the time. You know, I like Kobe as much as anybody else. Well, depending, you might hate him. But, you know, I don't want to be Kobe'd all the time, and that's kind of what Black Ops became for a while. People just throwing C4s to go on very long kill streaks. And I'm hoping that, you know, that doesn't happen again, or if it does, they tweak it a bit so that it is less, you know, viable to do. Because really, there was no reason not to throw C4. You could activate it upon a tap of a button, you know, you could throw it across the map, and people abuse the living hell out of it. So I'm hoping that they do scale it back and that they make sure that it's not crazy but still fun to use if they put it in the game. I don't know if it's in there or not. I hope they continue to, or at least, you know, try to add those team elements where, you know, you're still rewarded for getting kills, but you're also rewarded for being a team player. I know that a lot of people, they'll go into like objective-based game types and they'll just kill. Kill Confirm being a very uh, good example of it, where people will kill and kill and kill and there will be no tag collection. The game will last for forever because people just want to get their kill streaks. No one wants to collect tags. And I don't want that to be the case. I want it to be an experience where, you know, it rewards you well for doing these kind of things. I want it to be that, you know, if you want to be a team player, it's rewarded. If you want a solo gun, you'll still be rewarded, but not as much as if you did what you're supposed to do. Obviously, if you're playing TDM, that's a whole different thing. But if you are playing, you know, an objective-based game mode like Domination or something, I want them to encourage objective play. That being said, I also want to see weapon balancing. Weapon balancing was a thing that, you know, I was upset. No matter how they balanced it, it always seemed to favor one type of weapon, either the SMGs or the sniper rifles, very rarely the sniper rifles, but sometimes, or, you know, the assault rifles, and I want it to be a thing where you don't have to use the same weapon all the time. In MW3, it was the ACR. In Advanced Warfare, it's the BAL. In Black Ops 2, it's like the MSMC, PDW. Uh, Vector's gain in popularity, I've seen, but during the highlights of Black Ops 2, that wasn't the case. So I want to see better weapon tuning, really, so I just want really a cleanup. I want the game to still be enjoyable, maybe make the movement a little bit better, because I don't want exos, don't even get me, I do not want exos, but I do want the game to feel a little bit better, I want it to feel like the movement's a bit cleaner. I actually did enjoy Ghost's movement, I not the game itself, but how the characters felt as they moved along, I felt was really good, and I'm hoping that, you know, they'll, they'll do something similar to that, they'll make movement feel good. Shooting has always been fun in Black Ops, so I'm not even worried about that. I just want balancing, cleanup, I want the game to feel more polished than ever. So tell me what you guys think, are, what, what expectations are you hoping for, and what console are you getting this game for, because I'm getting it for PS4, the beta comes out on my birthday, which I'm going to be super excited for, probably going to play the living hell out of it, and I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about it, and what you guys think about it. So if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys later, Zeus out.